Which one of y'all carried the top of the single axle? That wasn't me. How you, Jose? Just keep the left foot heavy on the pedal. Don't let them catch you settle. Since you don't know how to act, run your mouth, don't look back. That thing's gonna split too if you try to cut it. Blow the top out. Take it down a little bit at a time, dude. Just put a rope in that top and pull it back. Better get this plug it out. I get to you, I'm gonna get over there and push this way. I got that bacon right beside it. it can see more else. Yeah, right. yeah, that's the problem. That one in the bottom don't have to come out now, though. About need to, uh, there's so many strippings up there, about need to load them and move them. I done like 28 inches off of this corner, whenever I cut this, so it should be higher. That way we can find it. What? You said two foot off of that one, the corner. Come up two foot? Yeah, yeah, I know. I just checked it. I checked it with my old mark over there. Oh, did you? Yeah, but your, the, the center is still several inches high. Yeah. We gotta come. Give it down. But we can just push it all out past. But I meant them strippings up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll load them out. Where are you going to put them? Probably on the lower. I, see how I dressed all them strippings up? Yeah. We'll put them lower. All right. Which he can just back in just off the good clay. Yeah. And I'll push them down the hill. Where are we going to hide them stumps? Well, I was hoping you'd burn them. Let's They're look huge. at. Let's look at that first, because if we can do that, y'all still got a lot of dirt to move here. If we can move that, I can cut that whole top while y'all are doing this. If not, I'm just going to sit around. See that wall right there? That cut. So it steps back one time. Right there. And I think that has to. That's just uh, eight feet of that one step back. Right? Yeah, eight, yeah. eight. You got that big measuring wheel? Little one. That big one does real good on this shit, though. Is this overcut, you think? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so that's your eight right there. Yeah. So yeah, this whole that wall is that one. Yeah, one step and then all the way over. But it's real weird because it jogs back in the middle, so, which I've been there like that anyways. Mm-hmm. Front porch is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine feet in front's the bottom of the steps. But it's dead level with the, that part of the road. What is? The well the cut is whenever I laid it out off of those back two pins. Is that where the driveway is going to stay? Right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll give you enough to turn into the garage. So this still needs to come up a little bit, but we'll, but see, I can't cut this top off here, really. Because right now, two foot is what it, what it calls for, two eight off grade. So we almost need to build this up two feet, which just bringing that over. But hell, that's all stripping, so it needs to be cut off. I guess the, if we can move that fire back just a little bit, put them stumps on top of the fire, let okay. them burn until we're completely done, then we can put them down. That road needs to come up up here for the turnaround. If it could just go back to the behind where it's at right now, yeah. Like see all that water that comes down there, we need to cut. Really, it'd be best to cut it off that way. So maybe what I'll do is go up there where your truck's at and start cutting that down. So that water, you know, will run out that way and not onto our new driveway. And then you can move that back a little bit. We need to do something with all these strippings. I can plow all that up, I guess. All that needs to be blended in good. We didn't see we're trying to build that up. The more we build that up down there without building this up, that water's running back its way. Yeah. So that these two need to be built up together, but we can't cut this to build that up because we're already two foot low here. Or we have to drop the basement. What the difference and go foot? On the right side though, whenever they want to clear their view. Yeah, they ain't got a whole lot left. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move the grade rod back a foot. Four or five now needs to go up to five, five and a half. I guess that don't really need to happen just yet because you got that whole bulk to move out, this whole bulk to move out, They're all this to move position. back, all them strippings to move. The single axle broke down about 
20 foot in front of it right in the way yesterday. That's where it went down on us. They couldn't done it right there in the corner. What do you got going on, man? It looks like someone started cutting a road in or something. And yeah, somebody cut the road in, and um, they did a lot of the work. It's about 1,200 feet long. They uh, did the grading for the most part, and uh, they ran into rock, and uh, they they hammered a lot of the rock away. They asked me for uh, a draw of money, and I gave it to them, and they disappeared. Uh, didn't want to hammer no more rock, huh? <laughs> modify the design a little bit. It's about 1,200 feet long, and on the top, uh, I want to put an RV, so it needs to be able to. Uh, an RV needs to be able to get up there. How much of the 1,200 feet is cut in? It's all done. Oh, okay. All right. So, so it's all roughed in. It just needs to be final graded and graveled. Is the the site where the 1,200 feet goes to? Is there a site they already cleared, leveled, or what's the deal with that? It's an area just for the RV. We wanted like 30 by 50. Uh, he's got, he ran into a rock up there, so we've got it like 30 by 16, maybe. Um, uh, did you guys already have a number set aside for completion on that? $10,000 left in the contract. Okay, you're gonna have more gravel and then $10,000 to gravel that. That's probably, that's probably why I took off. <laughs> I'll put some eyeballs on it though and see what amount of work is, is, is left there and figure out how much gravel we'll need to cover it all. And what about your banks? Are they Do they have any erosion control on them now or is it all pretty much rock that he had to hammer through? Or? It's all rock. There's a, a switchback and um, on that switchback we're having water issues there because there's no swales cut above it but that area is, is rock so got a game plan on it first and try to get a little closer on some numbers and stuff and then if it's something that we decide we can work together on then you know we'll meet there before we start and go over everything in, in, in much more detail to be sure that what i'm gonna when i get equipment there i'm gonna deliver exactly what you want you know sounds good john i appreciate it yeah no problem man i'll talk to you later today that sounds like we might be getting into a mess there I doubt he'll want to spend much more than the 10 grand. But so, sometimes these are really good and sometimes they're really bad. You're coming in behind somebody, so they've already set the bar below the table. This person may be scared now to fuck around instead of just paying somebody that's gonna do it and do it right. So sometimes they'll, they'll, they're will they willing to pay more, but sometimes they're gonna just bitch the entire job because they've already paid somebody like, ah, a bunch of money and it's not done. We'll see. All I can do is go out there and look and see what it looks like and then tell him what it'll be to finish it. And when we hear his feedback, we'll very quickly know. Whoa. We'll go to the flat down here. This is good work. Well, I don't know about them pulling a camper through there, right? That's how all the way to that last turn there is done to change the gravel. There's no ditch in any of this. That's what he was talking about. There's a lot of work left to be done. It's not it's not a lot of work, but the gravel obviously, you know there's several thousand dollars in gravel. He said there's only ten thousand dollars left in the job. What they originally closed it for, they might have realized, you know, from here forward they're not gonna make no money. And not had a lot of balls in their contract and they got into this rock. It cost them a ton of money and the customer didn't want to pay any difference. And they got to a point where they felt like they could walk away with just left the site out there the the work that's completed uh looks really good man they did a good job on all that stuff and it looks like it's just that 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 last leg that they didn't come back through and hammer through the rock for the ditch and then the the pad right what about that one really sharp corner um the the left hand corner as you're going down where the creek goes underneath of it are you, are you comfortable with that can you get can you pull the rv through there you think I think so. Yeah, I walked all the way up there. I seen where in the back corners you had some stakes uh, for it looked like that's your, your four corners of what you were hoping for uh, as far as the cut goes. Um, at one point. Okay. If that's the area that you wanted in, it may just be best to finish hammering that rock out there. And you can do a cut cut fill there too. You know, you can fill in the one side versus um, right. trying to hammer that rock down further. The fill would be cheaper. The hammering is extremely expensive. Yeah. As far as finish work goes, it does figure for right at like twelve thousand dollars just for the gravel to get to the job. 
How much gravel is that? Yeah, 10 foot, 1200 foot all the way in, and then uh, the pad itself, it figures for 18 loads delivered there. How uh, deep would that be? Four inches. That's only half of what we would normally put on a brand new road, but because most of the road is built with rock already, you've got a really good hard base. Like it's raining right now, and I just drove a two wheel drive vehicle uh, all the way to the switchback. You can save yourself a couple bucks and just put the four inches and roll it in real good. I think you'll be fine on that. The fill would add up pretty quick on the two sites, 10 to 15 grand. We need to hammer through that last section so you have a ditch line on the on the very last leg. Probably got six thousand dollars on hammering to do. You're probably 36 to 40 altogether. Okay, that gives me an idea. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate you going out and taking a look at it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure right now what we're gonna do with it. We gotta get that money together because uh, he bailed on us with our money, so. <laughs> yeah. Out. If you put, put something together, let me know. Just reach back out to me. Happy to help however we can. Really appreciate it. You do um, house pads and septic or no? Yeah, we do everything site work wise. Everything but a well. If the other guy ever comes back with the road, then we'll use you for the house and the septic. Uh, if not, we'll give you a call back and hammer this out. All right. You have a good day. You too, man. Thanks. I knew he wasn't going to do it. And, and that guy probably knew that there was $40,000 worth of work left but there's only $10,000 left in the contract. That's why he ain't coming back. And, and this guy maybe, he didn't know how much work was left, so he was using me mm -hmm. to figure out, call this guy and say, hey, there's $40,000 worth of work left, which we're not comparing apples to apples of what he was bidding because none of the fill was in that. Mm -hmm.